This video will detail the application of the Donjoy VersaROM hip brace with the Classic 3 Universal Pad. For additional information, please refer to the instructions for use found in the packaging. Prior to applying the cold unit pad and or the hip brace, prepare the Iceman Classic Cube. To unlock the Iceman Classic Cube lid, press the handle forward. Add ice to the fill line inside of the device and then add cold water to the fill line. With the handle in the forward position, place the lid on the device. Press the lid down while rotating the handle up and back to latch the lid closed. Set aside while you apply the cold unit pad and the hip brace. Use a thin layer of dressing or a barrier when applying the pad to the area being covered. Apply the cold pad to the hip with the hose extending down the leg. Position the long elastic strap around the hips, securing it to the front and back. Position additional straps around the leg. Do not wrap the strap so tightly as to restrict blood flow or fluid flow. Connect the couplings on the pad with the couplings on the hose from the unit. Make sure both connections are properly seated. Listen for a click on each connector when they are pushed together. As a final check, pull on each coupling to see if they are secure. Unless both couplings are properly joined, water will not flow through the system and no cooling effect will be realized. Note, it is not recommended to use an extension cord as this may disrupt power output to the pump. Warning, when applying the cold pad, do not let any part of the cold pad touch your skin. Always use a barrier between your skin and the cold pad. Check for moisture on the barrier between your skin and the cold pad. If moisture is present on the barrier, immediately discontinue use of this device. This video will detail the application of the Donjoy VersaROM hip brace. For additional information, please refer to the instructions for use found in the packaging. The VersaROM hip fits most waists 25 inches to 53 inches or 64 centimeters to 135 centimeters. Measure the waist at the level of the navel. Align the edge of the rear belt component to a mark on the measurement strip corresponding to the waist measurement taken. Fully re-engage both components. For patients with the waist under 34 inches or less than 86 centimeters, disengage the side wings from the rear belt components. Remove and discard the side wings. Reattach the modified belt component to the rear belt component. Note, if the waist belt is trimmed, locate the two black hook and loop adapters in the packaging. Attach the hook and loop adapters to the rear belt to cover any exposed hook and loop. Note, for patients with a waist over 53 inches or 135 centimeters, an extension belt is included in the packaging. Wrap the waist belt approximately one inch or two and a half centimeters above the widest part of the hips and secure the hook and loop attachment on the front side of the patients. Prepare pelvic shell and hinge assembly for placement. Set the range of motion hinge by pressing the center button on the face of the hinge and moving each respective tab to the desired positions. Note, make sure the center button returns to a fully locked position. A click sound may be heard and the center button protrudes when locked. Do not remove the peel away red tab on the pelvic shell or the red protective strip found on the thigh component. Position the pelvic shell and hinge assembly so it is centered laterally with the top aligned just below the top edge of the belt assembly. Reposition if necessary. Note, there are two pivot changes. One pivot change is located above the range of motion and other is located below the range of motion. Pushing the recess buttons at the center of each pivot changes the abduction, adduction angles, allowing for the desired angle with the least amount of hinge protrusion. Once the pelvic component is positioned correctly, peel away the red tab from the pelvic shell and fully engage the hook and loop wings. Slide the thigh component to the desired position. Be sure to leave enough clearance for knee movement. Reposition as necessary without removing the red protective strip. Once the thigh component is in the desired position, remove the red protective strip. Press the shell firmly against the distal bar to fully engage the hook and loop. Wrap the thigh strap around the leg and adhere the hook and loop tab. 
Note, to adjust the thigh strap, peel open the shiny tab to expose the strap ends. Cut the strap and reapply the hook tab. Please be careful not to cut the strap too short. Pull the pull tabs around and attach to the front of the waist belt. Extra padding. Attach the mid thigh pad as shown. Brace removal. To remove the hip brace, detach the pull tabs on the side of the waist belt, then unfasten the thigh cuff, followed by the belt. Remove the hip brace. To ensure the proper fit, if possible, the product should be sized on the patient preoperatively. Once the initial fitting is complete, do not disengage the waist belt or the semi-rigid shell. Rather, roll the waist belt up and gently place the brace into the bag.